we're going to move into some of the more granular stuff of what's going on with the Cardano Foundation. So for all those that are just tuning into the podcast or are not familiar with how Cardano works, there are three entities that comprise this project. It's IOHK, Emergo, and the Cardano Foundation. We see IOHK and Emergo working on the development of the code, making sure that staking is going forward, smart contracts are moving forward. But the purpose of the Cardano Foundation, it's this community aspect of Cardano. So the purpose of today's podcast, what I want the viewers, the listeners to get from this podcast is the role that Cardano Foundation plays in this project. So can you tell us a little bit more about maybe the structure of the Cardano Foundation and what what the mission statement is? Right. Uh, So uh, when you say granular, let's do the granular stuff. For the very granular response that I give to that question that I I get at every single meetup, I always give the lazy answer, which which is go on our website, look up on our website, and it will give the five missions right there. No, that's, that's the lazy answer. Um, but I think the, uh, the less lazy answer, but also the more difficult one is the foundation is here to uh, grow the Cardano uh, project and to uh, increase adoption. That's basically the overall mission statement. Now, what does adoption mean? That's where it gets really granular and difficult. Uh, adoption means uh, it means means a lot of things, and, and we're also grappling with the definition of this. Adoption means people use it, no? and then what does people mean? People can mean single people, single individuals, but it can also mean companies, small companies. It can mean developers. So there's the developer community. There is a, a holder community. There's a staking community. There is a stake pool community, which is now very recent with our with our uh, staking testnet, uh, and then there is an adoption community for for use cases. And use cases is a is a is a is a rabbit hole you know, that, that becomes very large. Use cases. Yeah, one of the main use cases of what we call a cryptocurrency is uh, payments, storage of value. That's a big use case. And uh, so adoption uh, through the through that uh, that uh, use, and then other use cases that we see is really identity management, is uh, supply chain, uh, is uh, uh, related to identity management. It's maybe KYC solutions, and so on. And so adoption also means that uh, the uh, Cardano protocol is used for these. Obviously, part of what I just said will require uh, our, our next era, which is Gogan, uh, on which IOHK is uh, very busy uh, coding with. And, and, and then we'll see. Uh, so we're also it's sort of in parallel doing everything. You know? That's also part of that complicated answer. What does Cardano do? What does the Cardano Foundation do? What does America do? What does IOHK do? Is Well, we do a lot of stuff at the same time. We, we, we finished the current uh, Shelly area. We need to implement uh, doing this. And then we're going to do Gogan. And in parallel, we're looking at use cases in order to, to further adoption. Okay. okay. Awesome. Well, what keeps you busy on a day-to-day basis? I've seen um, videos and photos of you everywhere, like at meetups, at speaking engagements, attending the different types of meetings out there in the crypto world. And... Uh, is it tea and crumpets with the royalty? Do you got to go in the courtroom? You know, what keeps Nathan Kaiser busy every day? What's a day to day day to day grind? Well, let me answer the the day to day grind first, and I'll get to the uh, see Nathan everywhere. So the day to day grind is is really a a, a a a real mix. It's a very really it's a it's a real mix. Meaning, it's everything from community, uh, social networks. Uh, you deal with the with the online community, and when I say uh, we, it means we, it doesn't mean I, it means we have our, uh, our, our uh, community managers and so on, the staff. It's dealing with HR, it's dealing with finances, it's dealing with management, it's dealing with outreach to these, uh, what we call stakeholders. So that's not the stake in staking, but stakeholders. And uh, that means companies, small and big, that means uh, the, the ecosystem. No, I think that's uh, the, the term ecosystem is important. So managing the ecosystem, which obviously includes also governmental agencies, uh, both small and big countries and small and big agencies, uh, that's the daily grind. It's, it's truly a grind. To the second part where you say, uh, well, you see Nathan everywhere. So that's, that's largely just, uh, uh, I wouldn't say cheating, but the trick is that 
when I travel, I will post. But when I don't travel, I won't post. So that gives everybody the impression I'm traveling all the time. But it's true. I am taking about two flights a week uh, in average. Uh, I, I try to make the, the trips short and concise and, and busy with a dense schedule. And, uh, and then I'm back home again. I got two kids. I got a wife. And they need their attention as well. 